Hi everyone and welcome to Coffee and Candles with Miss Angela and Miss Snooky Louise. I am Miss Angela, if you guys don't know, and I am going to be sharing all of my candle picks for the month of April. Once again, I cannot believe that it is April already. Today is actually April 1st when I'm recording and it just seems like March went by so fast and I feel like I say this every single month, like the previous month went by so fast and even though March had like a lot of days in it, like 31, it just seems like it went by fast. I don't know. So anyway, so I am going to put my dog Snooky Louise in back of me. Otherwise, she's just going to be feisty the whole time. Oh, there she goes. And then uh, we will get started. So the coffee that I chose this month, you guys, so exciting. So I have my coffee and my little peacock mug here. Mmm. This coffee is magnificent. So the coffee that I chose for this month, and I'm sorry if the bag looks kind of ghetto here because I've been bringing it to work with me and sharing it with all the girls at work is the Door County Coffee Raspberry Sorbet. <gasps> so this coffee is probably my number one flavor for uh, the springtime for Door County Coffee. It used to be the peanut butter crunch and I changed my mind. It is the raspberry sorbet. So this one reads the taste of fresh picked raspberries, crisp and sweet. Enjoy iced or hot. Now I'm enjoying mine hot today. I probably Probably could enjoy it iced because it is so warm outside right now but this is just like a very creamy um, ice creamy kind of raspberry flavor you definitely get that kick of raspberry so if you love raspberries you're good to go like you're gonna love this coffee so that is my pick it's almost gone the bag I'm gonna have to order more by the way if you guys are interested in ordering from Dora County coffee I will include the link down below and just let them know that Angela sent you and we will be good to go now let's get into these candles so I do have um, some Easter candles to share with you guys first so let's get into those. The first one I have here is a bunny cake and this is an older one. Let's see, this one was poured in 2014, but it has the sweet little bunny on the front cover. And basically what it is is coconut, um, vanilla and like a slight kind of berry note to it. I think what they were trying to do was replicate jelly beans for the berry note, but I love it. I think it smells delicious. Um, this is my second bunny cake that I've had. This one smells, though, a lot stronger on cold than the last one I had did. Plus, this one to me seems more, um, it has more of that berry, more of that jelly bean kind of scent, where my other one was just kind of straight up uh, coconut and vanilla. So I'm really, really hoping for this one that it um, throws decent and um, this is probably going to be the only Easter one that I burn for the month of April. I do have another Easter one, and this one I'm not going to burn at all. This one is called Easter Egg Hunt, and oh my gosh, you guys, look at how gorgeous this is. So this is um, kiwi berries, I believe, is the scent of this. It doesn't really have like its own um, scent. That's just basically what they made it. This one was poured in 2012, so this is a very old candle. Another reason that I'm not going to be burning it is I just had that St. Patrick's Day candle, and I burned it in my bathroom, and it was the exact same scent, so I don't want to burn another candle with the exact same scent. But this one is very, very strong. It smells very strong of kiwis uh, mixed with blueberries and, and like a little bit of raspberry. I don't know. It just smells really good. I love it a lot. And this is another pick of mine. Now, they did actually at my outlet have a whole bunch of the Yankee Candle like chocolate ones. Like they had the white chocolate, the chocolate bunnies. Um, so definitely go to the outlet if that's what you're looking for because the outlet does have that. Um, let's see. Another candle that I chose was April Showers by Yankee Candle. So that is what this one looks like here. Beautiful candle. I have this in a medium. I can't remember if I have this in a large or not. I would actually have to go and look in my stash because... I have so many candles, you guys. I kind of forget what I have. So this one just smells kind of like very fresh, clean, kind of, I don't know, a little like, 
I don't know, you get the lemon, you get the orchids, you get the fresh, clean rain, you get the citrus, you get kind of like the earthy, kind of grassy notes to it as well. It's just a really, really nice, clean, fresh candle. Um, and this is definitely good for the month of April. When I think of April, I think of everything just kind of, you know, sprouting outside and regrowing and the grass is coming up and, you know, there's rain that's kind of like washing everything away, like washing the winter away. So that's kind of what I think about there. Um, another thing, though, that I think about when I think about April is allergy season. And I have kind of seasonal allergies. I don't know, they're not too bad. But it seems like everyone around me has allergies and I feel like eucalyptus is something that kind of clears up the allergies and, um, you know, like clears up your sinuses. A lot of people have been getting sinus infections right now too. So I also chose this candle. This is a new one that I just bought. Um, at the Yankee Candle Outlet, and this is Australian Eucalyptus. It is a World Journeys jar, and I have not been able to find the scent description on this. It definitely is eucalyptus, I mean, and it is a very kind of sweet eucalyptus. Um, I did find online, it just said, your basic eucalyptus with um, Australian type of florals and different uh, fragrances like from the earth from Australia. I don't know, you guys. So crazy. But anyway, this one is two wick and it was poured 2016. So this is a newer one. Um, but yeah, on the front of it, it just has like, I don't know, really, really tall trees, the eucalyptus uh, leaves and then like a bush or something. So I don't really know what that is i'm not sure and then i also chose another eucalyptus scent this one is by dw home and i literally had not smelled this candle until recently i've heard really good things about it the cooling eucalyptus um until recently until i went into the store and i found it and i was just like oh my god you are not a two wick but you are worthy and i am going to buy you so this one you guys one wick smells Oh my gosh, so good. It is such a nice eucalyptus fragrance. It is obviously very cooling. You think of like um, eucalyptus kind of like a gum, kind of like a cool, fresh type of fragrance, and it just smells heavenly. The scent description, I think, on here reads like blonde woods, fresh eucalyptus, and there was something else wild herbs I think I don't know but it is so green and so fresh and clean and it just smells amazing so another candle that I chose was from Bath and Body Works and this is an older one because like you guys know I have not really purchased a three wick Bath and Body Works candle recently because there are still burn problems. There's still problems with performance and until they can get their act together, I'm not going to be purchasing any of their three wick candles. So I have this one in my stash and I will be burning spring. Um, is this one of my favorite ones? Absolutely not. It is very, very floral very grandma-esque. So if you guys are not into like that whole kind of grandma, really, really pungent floral scented candles, you will not like this one at all. I just really like the label. I think it's beautiful. Um, the scent description though on the bottom reads, a delicate blend of light rain, yellow daisy, and sycamore woods that contain the freshness of the season. So daisies, rain, woods, spring kind of visiting grandma I guess I don't know whatever and then the next candle that I have here this is a Kringle candle and this one is in the fragrance watercolors I just think that this one is so so beautiful I love the packaging on here so this one is like a florally kind of sweet type of fragrance along with that mixed kind of rain so the floral on this is really light. The sweetness is really heavy. And the rain is there. And you guys, it just smells amazing. Also get a little bit of like sandalwood in here as well. 
but it just smells so, so good. And I love it when you light a Kringle candle um, in this type of jar. It just kind of like illuminates and glows. I really wish that they would bring these jars back, these gingham print, because they are so, so beautiful. So Kringle, if you are watching, please bring back the, the gingham print because it is amazing. Also, I forgot to show you guys too, the lid has the label on the top, which is Oh, so nice. And then the next candle and the last candle that I have here, this is a smaller one. So this one will be going in my bathroom. This is Colonial Candle Rain Showers. And I just purchased this not too long ago. And I thought that it would be perfect. Um, the scent description on this, I believe, read ozone, rain showers, rainfall, something like that. Um, like an oak moss. Just kind of really earthy. It just kind of smells like... Um, a fresh rainy kind of spring day where you would open up the windows and just have the fresh air kind of like pour in and then you also get the scent of the outdoors as well so it just smells really good so anyway you guys that is the end of my coffee and candles with miss angela i hope you guys all had a great time these are some excellent candle picks leave a comment down below and let me know what candles you're choosing for the month of april or if you have any of these candles and um you can tell me performance wise how they go I will be the ones that I'm going to be burning I will be doing a review on so watch for that and I will be posting uh, March reviews coming up very soon because you know it takes me a while to get through candles and that's kind of why I haven't really been doing reviews much because I really haven't been burning too many candles but anyway I will see you guys all later and I hope everybody has a great day bye guys